Ropes Organization Walcott Foundation Indian Trust Special Coaching to 8th, 9th and 10th Classes Digital Virtual Learning Bingaru Palim Palmini Rugangava Rampeda Apanjani by Red Deepal Limando. Chairman Dhan Sekaran. Director Drive Shri Lata. Hi everyone, this is Sivumar from Ropes Organization. So today, so in the 8th class, direct on inverse proportion. The exercise 1, 13.1, if we discuss this, uh, see, first of all, in this one, if you observe this, first person is, the given, see, following or the car parking charges near railway station up to the given. Okay, first one, if you observe this one, for 4 hours, they are collecting 60 rupees. And for 8 hours, they are collecting 100 rupees. For 12 hours, they are collecting 140 rupees. For 24 hours, they are collecting 180 rupees. Okay, so if you observe carefully, the number of hours are, if the number of hours are increasing, then the paying parking charge also increasing. So if one quantity is increasing, then another quantity is also increasing. So it is in the direct proportion. Okay, so check the parking charges are in direct proportion uh, to the parking time. Yes, it is a direct proportion. Both are. Okay, now if you observe the second question, second question, the mixture of paint is prepared by mixing one part of red pigment, red pigment with eight parts of the base in the following table. Then find the parts of the base that need to be added. Okay, so if you observe this one, see, if you observe carefully, the given, see, for one part of red pigment, base, we have to add 8. 8. See, for one part, 8. Then 4 parts, see, 1 part means 1 into 1, 1 into 8. 1 into 8. Then 4 parts means 4 into 8. So, 1 into 8, then 4 parts means 4 into 8, then 32. Okay, 7 parts means 7 into 8, 56. Then 12 parts means 12 into 8, 96. 12, 20 parts means 20, 20 into 8, 160. 160. Okay, so 160. So this is the one. So like this, if you identify the relation, then automatically easily we can write. Okay. So now this is the one. Next, if you observe the, if you observe the third question, see in the question number two, question number two above, if one part of red pigment requires 75 ml, see here they given for one part to 75 ml, then how much red pigment? should we mix with 1800 ml base see this is easy to solve this type of problems okay see if you observe this so if you observe this one first to we have to make the table okay first to make the table see for the question number 3 if you make the table like this, you should draw. Here they given what is red pigment and base. Base. Here red pigment. See, for one part of red pigment, one part of red pigment, we should draw. We should add 75 ml base and uh, then how much red pigment uh, should mix uh, with the 1800 uh, ml of uh, base okay so here we have to find question mark see let us take this one is x1 and this is y1 and this is x2 and this is y2 like this we take so it is direct proportion see here one part is 75 ml so here it is getting 1800 ml then automatically red pigment also it will be increased okay so it is in the direct direct proportion so x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 so here we have to find uh, x2 so to find x2 then we have to find we should write x1 into y2 
by y1 then here x1 is 1 and y2 is 1800 by here y1 is 75 then if you cancel with the 25 table 25 threes are here 25 seven are 175 5 will get so 50 it's 25 twos are 75 3 ones are 3 24 are then x2 is equal to 24 so for 24 parts of red pigment we should add 1800 ml of base okay so that is the one here last step we have to write uh, so therefore here here how much the red pigment should mix with the 1800 ml of base is 24 parts so like this we have to write ok now next if we go to another problem fourth problem a, a machine is a soft drink of factory fills 840 bottles in the 6 hours then how many bottles uh, it fill in the 5 hours ok so if you observe this one see a machine a soft drink factory fills 840 bottles in 6 hours in 6 hours it is filling 840 bottles then how many bottles it will fix uh, so it will fill the fill in 5 hours ok then we have to make the table for that see if you make the table first to, this is the question number 4 first we should uh, write the table so here see if we observe this one bottles and hours so here 840 bottles are filling in uh, 6 hours and uh, here how many bottles are it fill in 5 hours then 5 hours then how many bottles it will fill then we have to take this one as x1 y1 and y2 it is x2 so here see in 6 hours it is filling 840, 840 bottle then in 5 hours it will fill automatically less than 840 bottles ok then it is in the direct proportion direct proportion in this one x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 then from this we have to find x2 x2 is equal to x1 y2 by y1 ok so from this x2 is equal to x1 is 840 into y2 is 5 by y1 is 6 then 6 1s are 6 140 is there. So x2 is equal to 14 by 70. That means 700 bottles. So in the 5 hours the machine is filling 700 bottles. So here it is getting 700 bottles. So here in 5 hours the machine of machine in a soft drink factory fills 700 bottles. Okay, so like this uh, we have to solve the problems which are in the direct proportion. Okay, next uh, if you observe the fifth question, fifth question, see a photograph of bacteria enlarged 50,000 times uh, attain. So a length of 5 centimeters shown in the diagram. Then what is the actual length of the bacteria? If the photograph is enlarged 20,000 times only, what would be the its enlarged length? That is the question. Okay, so here 5, five centimeters means it is 50,000 times. Uh, 50,000 times uh, is bacteria. If you enlarge the bacteria 50,000 times, then it is 5 centimeters long. Okay, what is the actual length of the bacteria? And uh, if we enlarge bacteria 20,000 times, then what is the length of the bacteria? That's we have to find. Okay. So, in the first five fifth question, first two, here we should write, we should draw the table. See, here bacteria times bacteria 
times and uh, length centimeters see 50000 times 50000 times 5 centimeters then if it is 20000 times then what is the length of the bacteria that's we have to find before that the question they asked first question okay 50000 times is equal to 5 centimeters then one time that means actual length actual length is equal to 5 by 50000 Centimeters, five ones are five ten thousand are. Okay, so one time is equal to that means actual length, actual length. Okay, actual length is equal to ten power minus ten power minus four centimeters. That is nothing but zero point zero 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 one centimeters. This is the Actual length of the bacteria. So now go to see here 50,000. So let us take this one x1, y1. It is y2. It is x2. Then we can solve x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2. Now we have to find y2, right? Y2. Then here x2 y1 by x2 y1 by x1. Then y2 is equal to x2. Twenty thousand times into y1, five centimeters five, and uh, x1 is x1 fifty thousand. Okay, so five ones are five ten thousand are ten thousand ones are ten thousand two are. Then twenty thousand times of bacteria is two centimeters. Okay, so that is our actual answer. So here they given fifty thousand times of bacteria is five centimeters. Then the actual length of bacteria is zero point zero zero one centimeters. And uh, see if fifty thousand times of bacteria is five centimeters, then twenty thousand times of bacteria length is two centimeters only. Okay, so like this we have to find remaining all the problems also you can do. Remain this type of uh, method only. So all of you complete remaining problems by seeing this method. Okay. So if you understand this one, please like and share this video. Thank you, everyone.